in this we are going to see how to work out with the unordered array now uh, abstract data structures for this array are get the array that first you have to get the values inside the array then traverse going through the whole of the array then insert middle given the index and the value how you are going to insert it inside the array then store store is uh, overwriting the difference between insert and store is insert it given the value and the index the value should be moved to the right and then the value is inserted but whereas here store given the index and the value in the existing index the given value will overwrite the previous value that's the main thing then retrieve from a particular element from a particular index the value will be uh, accessed and then deletion given the index the value will be deleted which is nothing but moving towards the left then search given the value you are searching and the value returned is the index where the particular value is present and declaration uh, of this array is we are using class we are declaring a class with a name as array and then a size maybe the size may be already we have declared that to be of a size of in, uh, 20 or like that so it is a of 20 and then we are use one more member variable called length because size and length are different size may be even 100 but the length shows how many elements are stored so that is the difference between the size and the length so at any point of time the length must be equal to or lesser than the size size is the maximum limit of the given array so here we have declared an array a which is of size maybe the size value may be 20 or 30 whatever it is and the again i said the length is nothing but it is an indicator of what is the current uh, number of elements in the array a at any particular point of time then these are all the functions member functions get array traverse insert middle already as i have explained in the previous slide and then here we have declared a uh, constructor where we initialize uh, length equal to 0 initially there is no data in the array so we initialize then yes we get a array here we get the using a c out statement we get the, the uh, length so for example size is 20 means i would like to store some 10 element means the length will be 10 then till uh, from uh, we use a for loop to get a, get the value then traverse okay we print the value using c out statement then insert middle here uh, given the array values so for example here let us consider the size is to be 10 so 0 to 9 10 but the length is 1 2 3 4 5 6 six elements in the array now we are going to insert an element let us say here the 5 at the index 3 so what we do is we push 40 to 4 that is what here we do then 50 to 5 we have done that then 60 to 6th place and the value is present so let us see that how it is done programmatic program in program here we insert the index this is nothing but according to our uh, example it is maybe 3 and the value is 35 now it checks this particular if class is mainly concentrated on whether the length is greater than the index then it is incorrect so for example uh, here an index should be uh, more than 0 it should be length less than the length and the more than the 0 if it is more than that then it will give incorrect index now uh, here we increment the length because we are going to insert so that automatically the length value will be incremented so initially it is 5 means now it be, it is going to be 6 so we increment here and then till uh, length what we do is 
we start from backwards so length here already it is 1 2 3 4 5 6 means now it has become 7 so 7 i equal to 7 i greater than index index is nothing but our 3 so now i is 7 so it is greater than index i minus minus means it moves up so here a of i now a of i is nothing but our length that is here so what it will do is here it goes the i minus 1 the previous element is placed in the current element that is a of uh, 7 and so on uh, now finally here all these values are moved now the uh, 40 is present here also anyway 40 is moved to 4 50 is moved to 5 and 60 is moved here but in this particular index that is a of 3 that is the index where we are going to place the insertion value and value now in a of 3 this 35 is placed Now, store. Store is, as I said, it will override. So, what happened here again? We are checking for the uh, whether the length is greater than, if it is greater than the index or less than the uh, zero value, then you have to say that incorrect index, or else you can say that it is uh, correct uh, index it is giving, and then we replace. The value in the particular index then retrieve here what we do is we extract the value so given the index we check whether the index is less than that it should be or else index is wrong because length is only 6 means and the index we are accessing is 7 then it should give error so if the index is less than length then we get the value element equal to a of index say for example 5 index is 5 is a of 5 will be whatever is value in A of 5 that is placed in element and it will be written to the called program. Else it gives the incorrect index. Then deletion. Here deletion before deletion and this is after deletion. Now suppose we are going to delete the element which is uh, present in the place 5. Okay. Now, what we have to do is we have to move this up and this up. That is what here we have done. So, length will have to decrease. After the deletion, since one element is gone, we have to decrease the length. So, here we check whether it is a valid index or not. So, it should be greater than 0 and it should be, index should be, uh, if it is index is less than 0 and index is greater than length, definitely it is error. Okay, we cannot delete an element. If already element uh, number of length is 7, then we cannot delete an element from the 8th place. So, it checks whether if the index is greater than length and if index is less than 0 means minus 1, minus 2, etc. Then it will give invalid index. So, here what we do is we uh, get the value in the particular index. That is here what we are going to do is we are going to delete the 5th place. So, A of 5 is nothing but 50 that will be placed because before deletion we have to get the value once we have delete once it is deleted it will be overwritten and you cannot see which element is deleted so initially we get that value in a particular variable a local variable and then we iterate and then we move push uh, the value upwards or you can say in a left, left hand side so here what we do is we start from the index from this because from fifth only we are going to move so index is nothing but our five so fifth element i less than because here it is eight as uh, eight elements so eight minus one which is nothing but seven i plus plus so the next next element will be accessed a of phi here a of phi is now uh, 50 so in that a of i plus one is 60 it will be written so a of i is equal to a of i plus 1 that is placed so it is overwritten here same way the next index incremented and i becomes 6 now a of 6 is 6 plus 1 7 so 7th question was what 70 that is written in the a of 6 then finally since we have 
deleted one value, we have to decrease the length that we have done here. Length minus minus. Search. We have to search for an element. So, for example, if I want to search in this, say, uh, let us imagine third. So, I would like to know what is uh, not actually you should not give index you have to give the value so that the index will be written so let us imagine we are going to search for the value 40 and it has the program has to return the index as 3 that's what you'll see in this program so here we pass the value 40 and it checks for the whole array it will iterate but the value is present in the third question itself so each time it checks First, it will check a of 0. a of 0 is equal to 40? No. Then, uh, I'll, uh, for loop continues. a of 1? No. So, if it is equal to value only, it goes inside. So, it keeps on going. But when it becomes a of 3, a of 3 is equal to 40? Yes. So, now it goes inside the if class and it returns the value index. I already told you it will return the index. Index is nothing but now 3 and break it comes out so the for loop will be uh, it, it will break and it comes outside so that is what we want because it should not go further as the value is found first occurrence of the value match it comes out and the value of the index the, sorry the index of that value will be returned to the main program 